So I wanted to talk about the brushes, which are um, low Cornell brushes, which are, oh my god, I love them. This is the first time I ever own any this company, and I really, really love them for the price. They are great. They are painting brushes for like ceramics, um, ceramics and stuff, painting, whatever the case might be. That's what these are for. They're not makeup brushes, but they are, you know, you can use them as makeup brushes. Trust me. The first time I ever got brushes, they were not low Cornell. Um, any painting brushes, they were not low Cornell. This, they were, um, I don't even know. what What is this brand? I can't even, it's a 10 over 0 shader brush. And this is really tiny. And I've done a haul on this too. And this one is my foundation brush. And, um... This one is by Q Fashion Beauté. That's how you say Beauté. And um, it's a painting brush, but I use it as concealer. And I got a really, really long one that when I'm trying to do my makeup in the mirror, the stick gets in the way. So I'm not going to use that one anymore. But I did get these. I uh, paid about $9 for all of these brushes because they came in a set, in two sets. This one, which came with six, which included a shader six, shader eight, shader ten around 3 over 0, around 10 over 0, and a liner, which is 0, the smallest one. Okay, and this was the smallest package, and then this one had uh, 9 brushes. Sorry. And this was the biggest one, which is the dark purple ones, and it had a liner, a round, a shader, angular, a filbert, a glaze over wash, and um, yeah, so I had a couple of them and stuff like that. Um, I found this really great alternative to a foundation brush also. It doesn't really look like a foundation brush that much because of the shape. You know, compare. It's not the same shape and stuff. So I would still use it as a foundation brush because you do... I've, I haven't tried it. Well, it's a little bit dirty because I was rubbing it all over my face and it has makeup on it now. But, oh my god, super soft. It's white nylon. So, really, really soft. They feel like hair. They're so soft. And it also includes another one <clears throat> which has a slant on the top. Which is perfect for the nose area, I found. You know, you really want to get in there and stuff. And that's what I found it great for. Um, I also loved this one right here, which is the number four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the round four. And I really like it. It's like an eyeshadow brush. And it comes with like two of these and stuff. And I also found another one that I'm going to use as um, eyeshadow brush. But this one right here is the flat top. This one is the shader 8. And this was the round... Yeah, this is the round 4. Even though this one's not um, round, I'm still going to use it as an eyeshadow brush. And they're both extremely, extremely soft. So, really like them. And girls, for all of these, I paid $9. 9 bucks for all of these brushes. So... If you have, I got them at Michael's, but I'm sure you can find them anywhere else, and I'm sure there's Michael anywhere, so you can check out Michael's on the aisle where it has all those painting brushes and stuff like that. I was looking for a the Maxine Mop brush, a low Cornell Maxine, but I couldn't find it, and so that's what I found, and I'm going to go look for that one, but anyway... Also, on yesterday's tutorial on the Dodger one, I did my lips, and I just did them again. But what I used, because you guys were asking me, I already put it on there. But just so you know, I used this Mary Kay lip liner in um, Dusty Rose. And it's pretty dark once you apply it to your lips. Watch. Do a little swatch for you. See? It's pretty dark. But what I like about it is that I'm doing a nude lip. So the color on the outside, it doesn't really wash away. Like, it doesn't erase your lips. So that's why I like using one like that. But you m need to make sure you blend it out because if not, you're going to look like it. Weird. And then I use this one right here, which is the super nude lipstick. Watch. Super nude. 
my hands are clean, so, uh, see how nude? This is Absolute, and I got it at a beauty supply store. I don't know where else you could find it. That's where I got mine. Okay, and I've seen them here in Cali, but I got it in Texas. So, anyways. And then I used the Sexy Mother Pucker by Soap and Glory, like, a. It's like a lip plumber. And it makes my lips tingle a lot. It makes them really tingle, but it does kind of like make them a little bit bigger. So I like this one. And the only thing I don't like is that it's greasy. Not greasy, I'm sorry. It's really sticky. like, And it really stays on. That's the good thing is that it stays on. But when you wipe it off, it feels like the paper gets stuck to your lip gloss and stuff like that. If you're sick, you wouldn't want to be wearing this because when you're blowing your nose, you're going to get paper all over in this. And that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you guys. 